C2E2, the Chicago Comic and Entertainment Expo, is going to be happening at the end of this month and a little bit of the beginning of next month, February 28th to March 1st. And what has this got to do with Transformers? Well, the awesome peripheral company of Han Cholo, I love the name, is going to be releasing more of their Transformer-related licensed and merchandise items. Now, if you're not familiar with Han Cholo, they do a lot of really high-end kind of pendants and pins and patches and earrings even of different licensed properties. They do uh, Power Rangers, He-Man, Voltron, She-Ra, Dungeons and Dragons, Universal Monsters, and of course, Transformers. Now, I'm familiar with their stuff. I've seen a lot of their stuff in the past, and a lot of it intrigued me a lot. I know that for years, I've been always kind of itching my finger uh, to pick uh, their blaster cassette pin that they have, because I love Blaster, who's my first Transformer. Uh, but I never really pulled the trigger on it just because, you know, in Canada, shipping is kind of brutal because um, we live on the moon <laughs> when it comes to some companies. But it just, uh, as it stands, like they make some really cool stuff, though. And I mean, if you go through their back catalog, they do like all kinds of pendants. And a lot of their stuff comes with the option of uh, 0.92.5 sterling silver or vermil 24 karat gold. So you could get like crazy, like Soundwave in his alt mode in, in 24 karat gold or sterling silver or Grimlock in alt mode, or Ravage in, in non-cassette mode. And then there's their huge pin series, which are amazing, beautiful pins of all the different cassettes and he uh, head busts of, let's say, Optimus Prime, Megatron, Soundwave, Starscream. A lot of these, actually, because they're so popular, are sold out, like the Bumblebee, the Starscream, the Soundwave, the Unicron, the 25th anniversary Optimus pin. Those ones are sold out. Some of them are still available. But what has this got to do with news-wise? So at C2E2, they're going to be unveiling their new exclusive pins. They will be available on the website, too. And this is one that caught my eye because they have their Hot Rod Enamel Pin head bin, pin that's licensed by Hasbro. Their Soundwave one that now will accompany their blaster and two cassettes of... Uh, Laser Beak and Ravage, and a Optimus Prime studded earring series, which again also will come in that sil uh, sterling silver option. So these are really cool. Those ones are made to order the, the earrings. Everything else is available on the website at the moment. Looks really cool. They even have also a ring series. They've done so much different stuff. They, they've done rings. They've done so many crazy things. It's just, it's, it's so much to take in. Um, if you even look at their ring series, those ones too also come in gold and sterling silver, Optimus, Megatron, S Soundwave, and a Soundwave cassette mode if you want that. So definitely check out their website, even their non-Transformer stuff, like their Power Ranger stuff is really cool looking and it's just, even if you're not interested in buying, just check it out because it looks really cool. A lot of it is really awesome to look at and it's all going to be at C2E2 coming up. So be sure to uh, swing by there if you are in the area again, February 28th to March 1st. Easily one of the biggest conventions in North America. Obviously, it's it's not top, top, top like uh, San Diego Comic-Con, but it's definitely, I'd have to say, in that top five in that battle with New York Comic-Con and many others. Amazing show. A lot of cool stuff there, so definitely swing by and check it out. And again, if you're interested in some of this Transformer stuff, check out Ch Han Cholo's website because there's so much cool stuff there. Even the Voltron stuff, like there's just so much cool 80s product there. And that blaster and that hot rod, I'm eyeing those two because those two look really good. <laughs> 